The Purity of God and the Believers Kingdom Pattern Purity is the state of being free from contamination. To gain access into God's holy presence, one must be pure. Matthew 5 verse 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. God desired to dwell among his people, so he gave Israel instruction in the Old Testament on how to be pure, and enter into his presence. Purity of Israel Ritual Purity, Leviticus chapter 11 to 15 Moral Purity, Leviticus chapter 16 to 20 Moral Purity of Israel Israel was called to live differently than all the surrounding nations. The moral purity covers the following. Care for the poor. Sexual integrity. Social justice. God's purity. God is holy, and he is surrounded by purity and clean space. Anything unclean cannot come near him. Man's impurity. Man is constantly surrounded by impurity and uncleanness. Man can become ceremonially unclean through these ways, which is associated with dying and the loss of life. Contact with reproductive fluids. Having a skin disease. Touching molds. Touching dead bodies. Eating impure animals. Uncleanness and impurity equals death. Purity and cleanness equals life. The essence of God is life, impurity representing death is opposite of God's essence. Impurity is a normal and temporary thing for man, and in itself not sinful. What is sinful is to walk into the presence of God with that uncleanness, which is a symbol of death in your body. God does not tolerate it because it is opposite to God's essence. God deserves pure worship. Unparalleled holiness belongs to God, and he deserves pure worship. Leviticus 19 verse 1 to 2. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. Pure worship is not limited to the activities that are done in church. Praise and worship is obedience to God and His word, true and acceptable worship is to acknowledge, glorify, and exalt God in everything we do. It is to show our loyalty and admiration to God. Romans 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. James 1 verse 27 Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their trouble, and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Impurity Today Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21 now the works of the flesh are evident, which are, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rebel rise, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Be watchful. As Christians, we must be watchful against defiling habits, or anything else that is in conflict with scriptural morals and doctrine. Revelation 7 verse 14 And I said to him, Sir, you know. So he said to me, These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation, and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. God hates impure worship. God is displeased when people give to the Lord in worship what is left over, or insincere. God detests when we perform the right worship activities, with the wrong heart attitude. The standard that God sets in worship is that God gets the first and the best. This is what God demands of our physical gifts, as well as spiritual service. True worship is to glorify and exalt God. Colossians 1 verse 18 And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. 
Whenever a person offered to God worthless gifts, he despised the name of the Lord. Also worshipping God out of obligation is displeasing to God, and is absolutely in vain. Malachi 1 verse 6 to 8 A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you priests who despise my name. Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? You offer defiled food on my altar, but say, in what way have we defiled you? By saying, the table of the Lord is contemptible. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice, is it not evil? And when you offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it then to your governor. Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you favorably? Says the Lord of hosts. What to do if you fall short? If you are backsliding in your faith, or you develop habits that are defiling, or goes contrary to Bible teachings. Once you realize and acknowledge that you have deviated from the path of holiness, you need to demonstrate true repentance, ask the Lord for forgiveness, and take the proper corrective steps. Proverbs 28 verse 13 He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Remain spotless and unblemished. As true worshippers of God, our conduct and attitudes must be without covetousness, lusts of the flesh, seduction, overindulgence in alcoholic beverages, gluttony, turning social events into occasions for passion arousing music, and sensuous dancing, unrighteous practices, and turning away from the holy commandment of God. 2 Peter 3 verse 14 Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace, without spot, and blameless. Ephesians 5 verse 27 That he might present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. To remain in God's love and gain his approval, you must be clean on the inside and on the outside as well. You have to continually adhere faithfully to God's standards of physical, moral, and spiritual cleanness. That means you have to refrain from anything that God views as unclean and unrighteous. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life. Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from sinful ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.